The initiative that we call TETL, which is Transforming Education Through Digital Learning, has been one of the perhaps most successful initiatives that Title I has been able to fund. At least it's been one of the most engaging. A little over two years ago, the Prince George's County Title I office purchased about 4,000 tablets to transform the learning environments in four Title I middle schools in effort to close the achievement gap. Each teacher and student was given a mobile device. They became very much engaged in not only the uh, practical use of mobile devices, but also it helped them to build their capacity around um, uh, engaging classroom experiences and also promoting achievement and closing the achievement gap. Many special projects were birthed out of this initiative, one of which was the adoption of the flipped classroom. As a result, we now have five teachers who now are shining stars in our district who are using the flipped classroom strategy as another way to promote student achievement and also to increase their interest around mobile technology. The flipped classroom is an outstanding uh, concept that we have implemented at William Hart. Teachers are excited about it. The flipped classroom is a reverse model of teaching where students receive instruction at home through teacher-created videos and now homework is moved to the classroom where they can receive guidance and instruction from their teacher. This approach allows teachers to differentiate instruction and spend more one-on-one -on -one time with each student. It also frees up the class time for students to work on homework projects and other assignments with the help of their teachers. Students have the opportunity to ask questions and work through problems with the guidance of their teachers and support of their peers, which creates a collaborative learning environment and in many cases a blending learning environment where class is both online and in the physical classroom. There are many different ways to flip your classroom, but you will find four essential elements in all of our classrooms. First is the entrance ticket which is an informal assessment which measures whether or not the students comprehended the video. Based on this information, the teacher is able to differentiate instruction. The second element is grouping. You will find that the students are grouped in a minimum of three groups. Students who have demonstrated mastery are working together to create a project that demonstrates or reinforces the skills they mastered. The next group is the practice group. They scored a low B to C on the entrance ticket and may have questions about the content. The teacher starts off working with this group to close any achievement gaps. The third group is where the teacher will spend most of the time reteaching the skill, ensuring that every student comprehends. The teacher can finally serve as a guide on the side, helping students to engage in discussion, challenges, inquiry and move to the mastery of skills. The third element is another assessment we call the exit ticket, which measures whether or not the students have mastered the content. The teacher is able to prescribe a video for homework based off the real-time data received from the student's exit ticket. I've been filling my class for about a year now. During this transition, I've noticed a significant increase in the productivity of my students in the class. It's about a 95% increase in productivity. There's about a 40% increase in homework completion with my students. Again, I have a 60% reduction in the number of disciplinary referrals going to administration. So it really works for me in terms of getting the students' attention in class so that they can be a little bit more productive with respect to the math work. Flip classroom is helpful. The flip classroom is educational. The flip classroom is great for learning. Flip classroom, as you could describe in one word, exciting. The flip classroom is out of this world. Technology has leveled the playing field for our students. 